Are things a little tense in here? Yeah, they were. But Jason took care of it. He handled it. Okay. Uh, what's, what's going on? Ask Claudia. Rick was here harassing me. And Jason made him leave. Rick's been here a lot now, Claudia. Any any particular reason that he would be here? I don't know the usual. He's pathologically jealous of you and everything you've achieved, so he comes here to harass me, to try to turn you against me. Like I said, Jason handled it. Well, I appreciate that, Jason. I'm starting to realize why he's important to you. That makes him important to me and to our baby. I had my doubts about Jason. I thought he was trying to undermine you. Well, now you know you're wrong. Yeah, I can see that. He wants what's best for you. And he protects all of us. No matter what. That's what he was doing right now? Yes, he was. And with the sad news about Michael, we need him to protect what we have left. And I know that he will. And that gives me a real comfort. I know you weren't comforting, Claudia, so can you tell me what the hell that was about? I mean, what do you think? You want me to let me tell hold on, hold on. Oh. 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 Hello? Sonny, thank God you answered. Michael is awake. And, and I, I think that he's okay. Lulu, are, are you sure? No, I was there, okay? He, he opened his eyes, he grabbed my hand, he talked to me, Sonny. Michael's awake. Sonny, Tell him I'll be right there. What is it? Michael woke up. I can see you. Do you know your name? Michael Corinthos III. Good. How bad was I hurt? Well, let me finish the examination. I'll give you more information, all right? I'm guessing you're the doctor who did the operation? Yes, I am. How many fingers? What fingers? Michael, how many fingers? Three. Good. Now, squeeze my hand. Pleased to meet you, Doc. Why am I so weak? Well, that's to be expected. You haven't used those muscles in a while. What's a while? I'm talking to my son right now. Did you just hold? I, I understand that. I just need one second. Okay, buddy. Be right back again. We'll talk to the doctor. What's going on? We all just. Make sure you're okay. I already know I had surgery. So why is everyone acting like it's some big miracle that it's over? I'm just glad you made it. So am I. But I'm starting to get a little weirded out. I know. I know it's confusing. But for now, you just need to take it easy and wait, okay? Okay. Jason. Obviously, 
Michael is awake and responsive, which is everything we could have hoped for, Sonny, but I still need to run a full battery of tests. Is that why you interrupted me? He's asking questions, and he didn't want answers. I understand that, but the best thing for Michael right now is to tell him that he was part of an accident. We can give him more information once we get the test right back. I just don't want to shock him with too much information. Are you telling me he can, he can go right back into the coma? I doubt it, but it is a possibility. <clears throat> All right, look, I'm not going to say anything until you tell me to. Okay. I'll get the test started. I'm gonna go find Connie. How you doing, buddy? something about what happened to you? Everything's still pretty vague. Where's Jason? He went, he went to get your mother. Where is she? Uh, well, look, uh, that's it. Hey, Michael. So listen, we're gonna take you to run a few tests in a couple minutes, all right? What kind of tests? CAT scan, stimulus reading. You've been doing me proud so far, so I'm sure you'll keep it up. Thank you for what you've done. You're welcome. All right. Uh, Why weren't you and Mom there when I woke up? We, we were here for a long time. So? What, you gave up on me? I would never give up on you. We were afraid we were going to lose you. But we had faith that you were going to pull through and out of some miracle you had, okay? And you know what? It's a gift. I will never, ever take for granted. I want to test. Okay, I guess. I wanted to be in the room. They just wouldn't let me in there. You, you feeling okay? It's like everyone is walking on eggshells. No one's telling me what happened. I know it was something big, because obviously it took a lot to fix me up. Michael, I'm not going to lie to you. We thought we lost you. Maybe I love you so much.